is a lot of glare there. All right. We have the Angel of Divination. I haven't played with this deck in a long time. Figure today was the day. So, Cancer, your Angel of Divination is going to be subject of what I was channeling when I wrote this. And the Angel of Divination has to do with sacred geometry, which would be astrology and stuff that has to do with the sky and numbers and this discrete math and calculus and stuff. Uh, also, there's a cup of tea here. You could drink tea. Somebody could be your cup of tea. Um, something to that effect. Also, there is a falling star here. There's a star. <laughs> Look at this. It's it's like a planet, but it's a star in the back of this thing here. It's like a horizon piece. It's a dead star. But anyway, so um, I feel like there there could be somebody in your connection, or you could be this. Um, you find yourself either very very compatible, which would be sacred geometry. A cup of tea might be very comfortable with somebody, or somebody might be a falling star. Like, you made a wish on a star and they fell out of the sky for you, and there they are. Could be a relationship. Um, could also be an opportunity. Um, <laughs> opportunities fall from the sky sometimes. Um, but there's something here that is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And then it's going to be like a eureka moment. So let's get into the channeled reading. Um, and we'll see what else we can get out of this reading for you. Okay. We have betrayal, performance, punishment, um, being an outsider, difficult raising children, bitterness, crime, assault, hard work, um, play hard, uh, traveling for a friend, traveling with a friend to a party, sex on a beach, um, deep friendship, balancing out to social obligations. You have a lot of fun on stage or in, I don't, I can't read that. Uh. I love it when I channel shit and I can't even read it. Alright, you you have a lot of fun with a person. I know that much. Okay, we have investing in your career, being pushed to the limit at work, being married to your work, a need to balance out all the backbreaking or exhausting work. It's the best things that you could have done. Um, overcoming self-doubt, moving forward in life. Um, obvious, obvious about a trip, cheated, um, being successful and helping others because of success, fighting for the basics, needs of more security and lifestyle, um, a female lawyer or a impartial or a very fair lawyer, let's see, a future loss is possible, defeat, um, there will be something to be celebrated, a celebration. A burden carried all of the weight on your shoulders, leaving worries behind, not, not making, not making fear one of, one of your regrets. Let's see, happiness and velvality. Uh, joy of life, an intelligent, perceptive woman, independence, uh, let's see, In indications of a decision or a choice being made. We have repressed feelings for someone that you love. We have self-limiting beliefs, take action, obsession, missing you, um, going around quickly, hook up, a safe place, jealousy, friends, hope for the future, clout, hungry, an olive branch, a confession, a dirty offer. Um, and then we have drama starter, caught, caught a case, um, 
pre persevering. Let's see, balance. Let's see, no romantic love affair, single and ready to mingle. Um, love conquers all. Child services being called. Ask for help. Fact versus fiction. Not putting in the work. Um, feeling wronged. No happiness and joy. Creeping. Um, screenshots. Offer. No rest. Disappearance. Watcher or a fan for a third party. Spy. We have a creativity, discernment, overcoming obstacles, engagement, hot, cold, negative body image, lovers, uh, boss, bitch, and we have transformation, stand your ground, and feeling inspire inspired. Um, so I feel like you might be a celebrity, you might kind of be a little um, drunk on power, or you might just be going somewhere and you want some action or whatever um but whatever the case is there's some craziness going on and you know how i feel about craziness absolutely not um so i feel like you might be overstepping your boundaries with somebody or you might be feeling like um there's some lies being told about you or there's something that's not making a whole lot of sense. Um, there, there might also be something that is questionable and I feel like there's going to be a lot of questions about your own belief system or your own um, character which could be an interesting prospect um, with cancers a lot of times like you're quiet or whatever and a lot of people take that as like you're hiding something or that you're not proactive in your own life so they want to take advantage of you because of like how quiet you are or how like work oriented you are or something in order to get what you have, which is, like, bullshit, and I hate people like that, but I feel like you might kind of have to separate yourself from certain people, get yourself a good lawyer, and, like, separate yourself from people, get a restraining order, um, but, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people that are trying to take whatever you have, um, because they don't have it, you know, it's some bullshit crap, but anyway, this cancel culture shit needs to stop. But anyway, so as a heads up, what I can say is since you have, you're going to get a lot of weirdos trying to get what you have. Probably people you don't even know that you never encountered in your life. Because if you're like a star seed like I am, there's people in the government that constantly want to badmouth you to other people that are in your community. Um, to make them think that, like, oh, they can have what you have and all this shit. It's it's a Clinton um, memorandum. Clinton used to, like, give drugs to people and shit um, in poorer neighborhoods. And there would be, a, like, a whole thing about drug abuse in poor neighborhoods. But um, just remember that it's not you. Um, you do need to take precautions against certain people and things in order to keep yourself away from certain um, complications and shit like that that could hurt your um, reputation. I've been dealing with it myself. I'm a starseed. People harvest my energy for their own use. I was born, you know, in the morning. I have a lot of sun energy and... Uh, yeah, I've always been a very light-hearted person. I like people. I'm intelligent. I'm in, in, inspirational. And I come up with ideas very quickly. But I don't like people taking advantage of me. So, the reason why I've been exhausted for the couple years that I've been on YouTube is because I actually do a lot of spell work. 
my spell work is kind of interesting. It's not anything that's like crazy blood magic or anything like that. It's, um, it's old magic. It's old magic. Like, very Native American magic. Native American magic is weird. Alright, first and foremost. And it takes a long time for it to happen. People think that they can, like, take me down, they can take my energy, they can do this, but I've, I've protected my energy to the point of whatever backfires on me personally, or weaknesses in my own energy, which there's a lot, um, <laughs> being a starseed, you have a lot of energy boosts and retreats, so... When I need to power down, which is often, because starseed energy, people don't understand that my energy is not like the Energizer Bunny. My energy is very uh, flash in the pan, over and done with, and then we're on to the next one. But my energy comes from a source that I don't think people know about anymore. Um, my tribe knows about it, though. But anyway, <laughs> it's very fun. It's very fun to do that type of magic and people not know about it. Um, also, you can read into other cults and other situations and where people are. And you can locate people um, with this type of magic. Um, and it's not anything you can find on the internet. I wouldn't look for it because, you know, it's not on the internet. It's very, like, learned magic. It's for healers of my tribe, um, and if it's done by anybody else that's not part of the tribe, it's like backfires, um, so I've been doing that magic, that's why I haven't been posting as often, I've had to protect my own energy so that I can do other things for my family, um, I do a lot of things, I'm the, I'm the one that's, you know, kind of the leader of the family now so I have to do a lot of things I don't want to do but that's life that's growing up so anyway cancer if you're going through a lot believe me I'm right there with you um and it doesn't get easier it never does but life is full of choices you have to make choices in order to get choices in order to build your life all right it doesn't matter what other people choose for you. If you choose for yourself, you'll always be ready. You'll always be true. You'll always persevere. Um, if you've heard any of my stories about anything about my life, you would think I was crazy for staying here as long as I have. But that's the price you pay for being great and awesome. But anyway, subscribe to my channel if you want. And I know a lot of people, you know, just stop by for a reading. That's fine. Um, I'm trying to get to a million views. Might do some Belle Delphine bubble soap in a jar. Haven't decided. I might actually do a pro project that um, is cool. But I haven't decided. For my million subscribers I haven't decided um because I don't think I'm actually going to get there um which is a problem you know it's just it's YouTube in general uh, because you constantly have to come up with new things for YouTube it's not anything that's beneficial it's just fun but anyway Cancer I will see you in the next reading you take care of yourself don't let anybody tell you different you'll be all right uh, to some degree i guess <laughs> people are picking on us like right and left um if you're a youtuber influencer or uh, part of the millennial generation you will be picked on um by everybody <laughs> believe me x generation was picked on a lot too but anyway take care of yourself protect your energy be awesome be true to yourself that's how you get through this type of stuff in your life. Alright? Anyway, I'll see you in the next reading, alright? Bye.